We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My name is Father Justin Lopina, and thank you for joining us for the 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. And before we begin, I just wish to remind you all that we've had to make certain adjustments by the way we celebrate Mass because of COVID-19, but the act of worship, the act of coming together for Mass, that is unchanged. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
and let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am the object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourself to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life. For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. By the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. We're going to start with the second reading today because we heard one of my favorite quotes from Paul. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. There is a critical lesson for us here, because all of you, all of you, are more than whatever statistic or demographic you happen to fall into. The world wants you to conform. The world wants you to fit into whatever stereotype they've assigned you. (laughs) And there is absolutely nothing that is directly forcing you to do so. What St. Paul is getting at is that we can be better than that through the renewal of our mind, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that means allowing ourselves to continue to grow. First of all, we need to grow in scientific knowledge and awareness of current events. That stuff is important. We cannot ignore that. But even more importantly, we need to continue to grow emotionally, to nurture our sense of empathy and compassion, our connection to one another. (laughs) I've got plenty of people in my life who are very intelligent, highly educated, but they conform to this world because they don't have a scrap of mercy or compassion. So they're highly intelligent, but emotionally stunted. And in addition to that, of course, we also need to grow spiritually to conform not to this age, but to mold ourselves more and more into the image of Christ. And that brings me to the gospel reading. If you want to be a disciple, there's no getting around it. You need to take up your cross and follow him. 
And yes, that means that there is a very fine chance that you will suffer greatly and possibly even lose your life in service to him. But that is exactly what we are called to do for one another. Because the renewal of your mind does not make you more egotistical or self-absorbed. If anything, the renewal of your mind strengthens your humility and increases your compassion for the needs of others. And so, in that way, you will find your life and you will transcend the conformity of this world when you offer your very self in service of the gospel and when you take up your cross, not for yourself, but for him. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And as we prepare ourselves for this Eucharist, we offer prayers for the sake of the church, the world, and all of those in need. For the church, that it will serve as a model leading us to take up Christ's cross, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who find it hard to trust their neighbors, may they work toward a dialogue of mutual respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for all who are traveling, may they enjoy the company of their family and friends and return to their homes in safety. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all those moving forward toward a new normal and for the grace to care for each other. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the suffering and lonely, especially among our viewers and listeners, that God will calm their troubled souls. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for all who grieve and mourn their passing from this life, may the promise of resurrection give hope to all. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Oklahoma and New Hampshire, we pray to the Lord. The Lord. Lord God, it is in times of difficulty that our prayer reaches new heights. In this time of suffering, confusion, and frustration, we offer these prayers in your name, that your grace may descend upon us always, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the soul church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering canceled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And as always, keeping our hands to ourselves, let us offer one another a sign of peace, especially to those viewing at home at this time. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.